Hi everyone, it's Linda Kanase for iCrafter. Welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm going to be doing a project to celebrate the Lunar New Year. It is 2023, the year of the rabbit. And I have a fun project, very simple to make. I'm using washi paper and a bit of findings, little jewelry findings that I have. So let me show you real quick. And it's just a the Paper Orb 3D done in washi paper and just hanging some little jewelry bits. I don't know if you can see that. Shiny bits on the bottom and then with the string on top. So before we go, please subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button. Hit the bell so you'll be notified when we do uh, upload a new video. And also please leave a comment. Love to hear from you. Uh, Happy Lunar New Year. Check this out. For this project, I'm using the Paper Orb 3D die together with washi paper, but you can use any cardstock. Washi paper is super thin, so I spray mounted it to regular printer paper for some stability. I trimmed the piece to 5 and 3 quarter inches by 8 inches to fit in my die cutting machine. On the larger shape, there are two pieces with the blade in the center. One piece has holes, the other is solid. The holes are for hanging the piece later on and I'll show that to you. To add some sparkle to the paper, I'm using deco foil and a regular glue stick. I randomly applied the glue stick in a all over pattern. And then I applied the f gold foil dull side down and I'll rub it with, first with my hands and then with my eye press burnisher. Be sure to let the glue dry completely. Let it sit and dry completely. Once the glue is dry, peel it off and you'll see where the gold foil has stuck to the paper. And you want to do it all over. And next we're going to cut die cut three shapes. This is our new iMotion die cutting and embossing machine. The base comes with it. I'm also using the Magnetic Pro self mending deck. This is so smooth. And I'm just laying the cards or the washi paper on top, the die on top of that, and our translucent cutting deck in pink. Now, I'm going to have to move the machine because my hand was going to run into the camera stand, so I had to keep adjusting it. I'm sorry the camera is shaking. The stand is on the table and the table's shaking as I curl, as I roll this through. Now I want you to watch how smoothly it die cut. Remove the top cutting deck and it just comes out so easily. The nice clean cut. And here are the two pieces. One with the hole, one without. And just as a side note, look at how smooth the Pro Magnetic Pro cutting deck is. No warping no scratching. It is just so lovely to use. And you could wash any markings off like that. That's just paper. Okay, so on this last piece that we have, I'm going to cut one more shape and I'm going to cut it with the um, die piece that has the solid uh, curved parts, so without the holes. So I'm doing the cur solid part. And this is another wonderful thing about the Magnetic Pro Deck. You can place it where you want and it stays put. You could adjust it as you want, but look, it just stays in place. It holds it. So if you want some accurate placement, this is perfect. So again, my translucent cutting deck on top 
run it through. And you'll see again, it's a really clean cut and so here's the clean cut and you'll see the cutting surface on the magnetic pro deck is again so smooth you see a little bit of lines in there but that is just paper uh, on it and it washes off again that's a magnetic deck we also have a regular one you fold it up, the iMotion machine up, lift up the handle, and now you can store it very easily. Here are the three pieces, one with the hole and two that are solid. You will also need to die cut these additional embellishing shapes. You will need, one has holes and one is solid, and you will need four pieces for each strip. So there are three strips. <clears throat> so you start off by folding the little glue tab. There's a quarter inch glue tab uh, on one end. And if you look at the die, you will notice these curved lines or crease lines. And so that is on the paper strip. So you want to find those and gently, um, gently fold them. You want to just do it like suggesting to the paper where it will crease. So you don't have to press them too hard right now. You just want to make sure the paper knows there's a crease there. Now I'm going to adhere the embellishing pieces in the curved areas. You can either apply adhesive to the uh, gold embellishing parts, or here I'm adding it to the paper it's, itself. Yeah, you just set them into that curved section, and you will repeat this um, on all the three strips. Now, to assemble, you apply adhesive along the glue tab. On I'm doing it on one of the solid pieces. And then I'm creating a loop. And you'll notice it looks a little squarish when you're done. And you'll repeat this on the second piece as well. Okay, so now you have two of these shapes. And what you're going to do is you notice a seam line here and then the gold embellished parts. You're going to overlap them and you want the gold embellished parts on one to overlap the seam section on the other. Just like that. So now it's kind of a pillowy, squarish shape. But you still have one seam showing. So we're going to cover that up with the last piece. So you don't want to apply adhesive yet on that seam. You do want to fold it though. <clears throat> now, to start off, this is where the magic happens. You have the seam and the blank side. You're going to thread it up behind the gold embellished part. And you come up there. So you want to wrap it over the seam. And you go back underneath the embellished piece there. Okay, so you come up and you'll now be opposite the glue tab on the other side. Okay, so now you can apply adhesive on that glue tab and complete the loop. You just want to secure it just like that. Once that's secured, 
Now you want to start rotating that strip so it's hidden behind, the seam is hidden behind the embellished gold layer. So you just kind of, it's not that easy, but you just kind of keep rotating it, working it as it circles around, and it just goes around until the seam is hidden. And as you adjust it, you'll end up with the gold embellished sides on all visible uh, six sides. And now you can start pinching it. And it's just a gentle pinching motion, not too hard, but this is where the creases, curved creases, start showing up. And you just want to make sure they're nice and crisp. And you continue and do that on all of the sides. This is kind of the fun part. And you see everything starting to turn into a ball shape rather than the pillow shape. There you go, and one side has a hole, and the same hole is on the other side for the top and bottom hanging parts. Now I'm going to start to create the hanging embellished piece. I rummaged through some old beads and some jewelry findings. I found this piece here and added some gold foil to it. To attach it, I used this tiny clip pin by Tim Holtz and hooked on the dangle onto the bottom hole. You can also add a tassel, which would look really cute. And just hooks on like this. Then also I will add a ribbon along the top to hang it. I hope you enjoyed this festive project, so please subscribe and leave a comment. And visit us at iCrafter.com for more information. Thanks so much for watching, and Happy Lunar New Year! Bye!